Okay. So this is Lost Tales, The Castle Escape, version 1. Uh, this is a little a little game that it, it didn't look like it didn't look super like graphically impressive though actually I'm kind of I'm kind of charmed by the fact that this kind of this is make me think like Windows 95 it makes me think Windows 95 a little bit like the graphical style I feel <laughs> uh, but it, it did look nonetheless like it could be a lot of fun so I, I, I asked for a review key so let, let's let's see how to play so. Up to interact with NPCs, left to move left, right, down, down. Oh, left to move left, right to move right, dawn to crouch. So if we want to crouch, we have to wait. Let's see, what time is it? It's uh, 9.30 p.m. So i got to wait probably around, oh, uh, eight or so hours. And then when the sun rises, I'll be able to crouch. Good to know. Uh, D-pad, up to fire, select fire magic, left for ice, right for lightning, down for wind. Uh, X to attack, A to jump, B to enter. Cancel interaction, LB and RB for uh, consumables. Start to pause, back to open, close map. Okay, sounds pretty simple. So what do we do? Uh, we collect those things to make money. Collect those for the healing potion, collect those for the mana potion. We can find a lot of money in chests, sweet. Gonna get bank. Just move to Europe, then you can crouch earlier. That's a good point. That's a good, that's a, that's a speedrunner strat right there for this game. <laughs> Uh, collect increase health limit, collect increase mana limit, collect increase damage for physical attacks, collect two increased damage damage, and certain levels can change magic a bit. Oh. Collect and unlock area map, collect and unlock three assertions from storm fragment the symbol in case a local or an NPC is, can be interacted. Okay, this seems like seems like a bit of effort was put into it. Yeah, it has a pretty simple graphical design, but I'm kinda curious. Let's see what we got going here. Be our girl. We look like Samus a little Oh, we're a princess. Is the city empty? I have to find somewhere to spend the night. Well, if it's empty, just hop in any house. They're not taken. Good evening. Do you have a room for rent? A hundred dens a day. Oh, that's a hundred... A hundred dinners? Luigi! Luigi, why does it cost a hundred whole dinners? That's a lot of dinners. Here it is. Where is the bedroom? So the second floor or the second door on the right. Thank you. You want a copper drink? What do you mean? Two of the king's wives are having a party here, and he's offering drinks to everyone who stays here in the tavern. Right is a clean or a clay. Um, sure. Remember, this game had a Portuguese uh, and English option, so I'm guessing she is Portuguese. Oh, I'm in prison. Luigi! Luigi, you're supposed to save the prince, princess, not capture the princess. This, this is the opposite of what you're supposed to do, Luigi. Luigi's a bad guy in this. Okay, it's two, okay, two hell of four hours in a row, Luigi is the bad guy. Last time it was that puzzle game where, where Luigi's Evil Castle had an L on it. It was Luigi's Evil Castle. Are we in Luigi's Evil Castle again? What happened? What dress is this? Am I in a cell? My ambulance is still with me. Great, it's time to get out of here. Prison Keeper, stop! How did you get out of here? Out of there. Why don't you come here and find out? Ah! Yeah, fuck you, fire. <laughs> what should I do now? This outfit is going to be a problem. I have an idea. What's our idea? Much better. Time to get out of here. All right, here we are. With the world's quietest rock music playing. I can I can barely hear it. Hold on. Can you guys even hear it? Hold on. Let me let's let's, let's check the audio. Actually, I think this has like a volume bar. Hold on. Hide the mini This is made in Wait, hold on. About Oh, I think this was actually made in one of those old Game Maker engines. That's kind of awesome. I love it. It's so nostalgic. All right. Um, I legitimately love that. Um, the princess got drugged for the look of it. You can hear the music? I'm impressed. How low is the attack sound? It's also exceptionally quiet. All right, hold on. I'm, like just, I'm just expecting the audio. Hold on. By the way, I like how this game has the uh, official title of... Lost Tales, the Castle Escape, but the the the, the bar the bar, like the top bar is saying what the game is. Check this out. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys this. Uh, check this out. So the top bar actually says uh, the game is actually. It's good to know that the game is it's fantasy adventure, fantasy adventure for the exe file. That's nice. I, I want to play my fantasy adventure. It'll probably be a good time. A really good adventure, you know. All right, I'm gonna turn the sound up a little bit though, since it's so well. Whatever, let's turn up one bar. That'll probably be good. I don't know. 
Remind me to turn this down later. There, can we vaguely hear the rock music? Sweet. Probably can, right? So we have a sword. And we can hip thrust out a fireball, that's good to know. I love- I lo no, guys, we gotta do some adventuring. It'll be exciting. There's a scroll over there, should I go get it? Is this the way forward? This looks like the way forward. Let me go get that scroll. It's very- barely audible. It really is barely audible. I don't know- I've never heard a game be this quiet in a long time. I- it's kind of confusing. Ah, oh, I found a map. Let's see. Okay, we're here. Oh, look at that. Jump! Hi. Hi. Uh, can we talk? I guess... Can't talk with prisoners. That'd be silly. Shaking his head. Not an A-N-A- Yeah, well, Por Portuguese was the base option. I think, uh, fun fact, I think the last game where we had a Portuguese, uh, uh, developer was, uh... Oh god, how did I forget the name of it already? I love how I remember the the one quote from the game that we loved, but not the game name itself. Time to sloot! That was also made by a Portuguese developer in that game. Pita, thank you. No, oh, feel bad for this prisoner. He's got he got put in front of the fireball spade machine, so his cell must be pretty hot. He really shouldn't be saying so close to the grate. He might burn himself. This one's open. Can reseal myself in if I want. Uh, there was a, there was an item up there, but I didn't see how you'd get it. So I'm guessing this is a Metroidvania. So I can like go back with items, probably, or maybe I'm just missing a button. That, no, it's still magic. Yeah, there's no like double jump or anything right now, if you're wondering. So to get up there, take that barrel. I never liked you. I guess I, I guess I'll get a double jump probably at some point. Oh, look at the- who the hell is this? Hip thrust. Three damage. Oh good, he doesn't seem to understand the idea of turning around. Alright, that's good to know. Ah! Oh, buddy. Hey, I found three bucks! Ka-ching! Oh god, these sound effects are so- Haha, <laughs> I love- Hold on, I'm gonna turn up the audio for you guys, because the sound effects are absolutely great. Hold on, um... Alright. How about that much volume? Can you hear the game if I do that? Let's see. Can, is, can, can you hear it? I can change my magic. Let's hip thrust a, a tornado. Okay, that was... That was okay. Good tornado. <laughs> good, good tornado, that. Let's try lightning. Hip thrust lightning. Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually pretty effective. <laughs> I love picking up money. It's ka -ching! It's that stock ka -ching sound of a cash register. Can you guys hear this? Uh, it's great. I love it. We can, you can hear me. Well, you can hear me. You can easily hear me. I'm just wondering if you can hear the game audio. It's very quiet. It is. That's why I select the... Okay. Alright, we gotta be real... gotta be real smart about this. Ow. Three bucks. Actually, I should just let him run into my attacks. That works pretty well. It's okay, I golf. Money. Come here. Oh, they're, they're very simple to fight, actually. Money! Oops. Oh no, it's an axe guy. He looks like a peasant. He is a medieval peasant guy. Can I destroy his axes? Ow. How funny if I don't understand his story dark. I don't think I can destroy his axes. Ow. So I take numerical damage, but I have hearts up in the upper left. Alright, so I don't actually know how much health I have, really. But, okay. 
So, oh, secret? Let's see, I want it. Give me the secret. I have tamed, obtained Bearer of the Root Verity. Oh. Oh. Hey, you gave me a great idea for a transformation uh, idea. What about... What about somebody finds some root beer, they don't understand the brand, and it says root bear, and they're like, oh, that's weirdly misspelled, and they drink and they turn to a bear. Even better, the bear is like a soda bear, so they're like fizzy and cute. I don't know, I have weird ideas sometimes. Oh, I'm not going to read all that. <laughs> Hold on. What's the prisoners? Year 375 after the revolution. 1701. Diogo Grandfish. Robbery. He was caught stealing chickens on old Donna... On old Donna Zilda, Donna Zitas, Donna Donna Zildo, Donna Zildo's farm. On old Zana Dill's farm. Uh, Tenerva, Tenerva, he practiced the magic forbidden. After a commotion in the band, tip, a group of soldiers went look for what went look what was happening. Arriving there, was found a woman practicing necromancy with the body of another magician. Okay, Leonardo Janal assassination. Arrested after killing the neighbor who was making a mess at dawn. Oh, was he crouching? <laughs> <laughs> Adderle Toto, tax debt. After completing two years without paying the taxes due to the king of our city, he was arrested and sentenced to work in the iron mines until completing the payment of his debt. Uh, Roto Sweat Suete Rookie, exploration without permission. You would never think that a rogue has experienced Roto. No, oh, Roto. Well, you know, shift of reference. No. When we caught that way, trying to break into the castle down the underground river. Okay, what the. Alright. Dora Badger, exploration without permission. Is this going to be fashion? Tries to invade the castle by the river, but a prisoner for it. Oh wow, there's more pages. What happened? Out of nowhere appeared a woman in winged armor who flies without using magic, but she fell and destroyed a house. Oh. That sounds unfortunate. Um, <laughs> disorder. Uh, th this guy, Ellen, Alan Nala Des Desacato? After drinking too much, he, invent he invented to want to hit the guard, this one will get too much in prison. What? Uh, Piratress Lorverka, illegal hunting. She was arrested after illegally boar hunting in the royal forest. Uh, sleeping in public. She was arrested after sleeping in the central square of the city. Dora Badger. Phila de Monores a la Cochera. Talabo de Rodese de Crinaca? Crinaca? What? What? Okay. Sure. Ex exactly. I guess. I mean, I know that's Portuguese, but like, why is the last why is the last entry in Portuguese when the rest of it's in English? That's kind of weird. One oh, look, a penny. So it's kind of like the saving slime from changed. What would be? It's just it's like the saving slime from changed. You mean the? Uh... Ha! Secret. I think I'm just tunneling- I think I'm just tunneling the ground out. Okay. This is strangely amusing. I like it. Oh no, okay, it actually, like, fades away. The bear soda? It's like the save game slime? Actually, that's a pretty good idea. When I make shifted- uh, guys. Uh, when I make shifted... Would it- I- I'm gonna have an inventory system? There's gonna be two technically inventories, I guess. One inventory for logs. I might just straight up have a PDF of sorts that you can get. Also, I think my damage got doubled by that improvement, which is pretty good, actually. I gotta get an achievement for that upgrade. But I'm thinking uh, we could also have other consumable items, possibly. Oop. Okay, last time I went into a hidden wall, like, opened up. This time it didn't. Ka-ching! So does anybody want to do me a little favor? It's very minor. Does anybody want to look up Lost Tales, The Castle Escape, and tell me how much this is? I forget how much this game costs, but I want to remind you guys, this is a Steam game. It costs money. I just, just want to remind you guys, kind of. That's water. Is it bad for me? What what was that animation? Yes, but also what the fuck was that? What was the what was that? The character sprite though. Oh, oh, oh I want the heart. 
is my game heart. Seven dollar, seven dollar game, huh? All right. Just, just curious, just curious. I didn't, didn't quite remember what it was, what it cost. So, hmm. Oh no, there are so many of them. Oh no, axes too. I don't think that axe actually hit me. Actually hit me, but it did somehow. Anyways. <laughs> Money. I think the hitboxes of the axes are kind of big, so I'm going to be really careful of them. Oh, I could kill them, but I can't, so I won't. It's cheaper in euros. Well, I don't think it is now. At least everybody here is loaded. Epic battle. Dead. This is charmingly old-fashioned, though. It really does remind me of like an old bunch of Click Media Fusion games back like ten years ago. Uh, so there's a prompt to read this, but I can't. Just thought I'd note this. I'm pressing up, and I can't read it. I I cannot read it. All right. Well, who knows? This book probably had all the secrets of the universe, but I can't find out, so well. Hello, Princess. Have you accepted your fate? What are you talking about, nun? To be the new wife of our King Julian? Is that some kind of joke? I demand an explanation now. King Julian took you into his castle for you to become the seventh wife, and as you walk around, I think you have already become the new wife. Because, you know, walking around killing people, that makes you, that makes you get a wife material. Oh, or I've blown up the cell, killed all the guards who got in my way, and will continue killing everyone who dare come in my way. It doesn't matter, the king always gets what he wants. Are you going to stop me? I will not, on the contrary, take this. With this key, you have access to the gate that leads to the halls of the castle. I hope this helps you. Why are you helping me? Why would I not help? You'll want become one of the queens of this kingdom. I wouldn't count on it. If you need something, just talk to me or mother. Okay. Hey, you're trying to get out. So I'll help you, because you're not going to get out. This seems to be her logic. Okay. Oh, you can sell- Oh, potion upgrades, you say. Well. Okay. What do you do? Secrets. Oh, I can teleport thanks to you. That's nice. We can go to- So, the, what are the areas? We got the prison. We got the hall. We got the royal garden. Not the garden, mind you. It's the royal garden. Very, very important difference. We got the laboratory, we got the caves, the aqueduct, the crypt, and the... That's it. That's it. Save game. Okay, so... Well... That's a that's certainly a thing. I guess I'll go ahead and get the mana potion upgrade. 750 is all it requires. Oh, now I can read the book. Okay. Uh, Diary of the Guards. Since, for the first time since I began to work here... The king asks that a prisoner be taken in personally, and this prisoner gives me fear. With his pale skin and wearing long gloves in his hands, it smells rotten! What will the king want with her? The prisoner who has taken two days ago to speak to the king is a damn necromancer, so that rotten smell came from her. It was smell. It was the smell of death. If this rumor is true, our king goes crazy. He is using her power to revive the queen who died a year, giving birth to her son who unfortunately did not also survive. What happened? King Julian decided to marry the necromancer! She bewitched him. One well, of the counselors confronted him about this, and the king simply cut off his head in a single blow! Someone has to do something. Oh. That sounds unfortunate. Just in general. I shall hold the line! There we go. That wasn't actually that much money. Curses. Try again. Sometimes I can drop 10, so, yeah. Good times. This is quite a game. I have thrust, hip, thrust. Oh, I can't. I can only. It's a cooldown. I learned this now. I got a potion for that guy. Ah! 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 
Seems like I am self disappearance, so that's good to know. If you're wondering, I'm just trying to get. Wait, how much do I need? Uh, 750, sure, okay. I mean, I was like, yeah, why not? 750, sure. Not far off from that, sure. Let me get the health upgrade so I can just tank things. Also, they give me potions, which I appreciate. I think that'll take a while. You think so? We're getting there. Yeah, I know about your YCH and something go wrong with it. We're getting there, guys. Don't you worry. It depends. It's kind of RNG based. It can drop anywhere from one to ten money. So, well, kind of depends on what they want to drop. Oh, thank you for the host, Warhawk. How you doing today? <laughs> sure, smart guards they have here in this place, don't they? Anyways, one more run and we got what we needed, so. Potion. Up there, sold. <laughs> Look at that, sold out. Sold out. It's just like, you know, what, what, what's, what, what image should I place for demonstrating that the item sold out? You know what? I'll open up MS Paint. I'll just dump some letters in a diagonal on like just dark red, and we'll just slap that on. We'll just slap that on. It's fine. That that works. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Now, I, will, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be completely honest here. This is probably not a good game, but I am amused by it at the same time. I, I can like bad games sometimes. Is that all right? I hope that's all right, everybody. Let's go over here. God, the audio is so quiet. I have to, like, turn it up for myself. It's pretty good, though. Holy shit. Okay, why are there some, like, weird white dots above the... Uh, below the dialogue box to the left? Look at that. There's, like, some weird white dots going on. It, it was a cursor. Stop, little keeper, you finally woke up? Can I help you with something? You little keeper. You thief, you'll never catch me off guard again. Oh, it's that guy. Okay, um, you, you have... What the fuck are you throwing? Man, dude, you have a lot of bombs. All right. Why don't I just stand here and attack? Okay, anyways. Ow. Yeah, I don't see Harmon just tanking this. <laughs> so bad it's good. Peter was great. Too bad I couldn't keep playing it. They did patch it, but I don't I don't care to go back to it really. Damn you! You thief! It will not remain like this, I'm ready to take it back. Do you really think you'll get any chance? What? Ah! ah. <laughs> what? You're gonna kill me? What? All right, so what did I, did I get an item from him? Sounds like I got something. But I don't know what I got from him. Okay, anyways, off we go. Ah! Hey, another health up. Nice. Yeah, sword damage. The sign, wait. Uh, what's the word that somebody says in German when they sneeze? Because when I got that heart, it presented an achievement with that name. I can't say it. I don't remember how to pronounce it. Everybody knows this word, though. But why did it... I got a heart container and the game gave me an achievement titled that. And why? 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 What does that have to do with a heart container? What's that here? Ow. Oh. I see. So now we're in the halls. It means bless you. Yeah, 
I, I guess I got blessed of a heart container? I don't really know. That's kind of a weird use of that term, though. By the way, guys, I want everybody to do me a favor. Everybody get... Here's the interactive stream experience, right? Everybody get really close to your monitors, okay? Everybody get really close to your monitors and just stare at the background above... Like, just ex stare at the background, the black background tiles. Just stare really close to them for a little bit. Congratulations, you've now hurt your eyes. Is it? That's German for how- Well, that's really weird, because this game literally is made by somebody from Portuguese, so, or Portugal, so... I... weird. Hmm. Why do they use that word? How strange. Nah, my eyes appreciate it already. I mean... Real talk, right? You know, if I fell between these pillars, I think I'd just be stuck. Hi, are you an enemy or are you just foppish? Okay, you're an enemy. Hey, come back. Thanks. Ah! Oh no, I wouldn't be stuck. Oh, the developer saw that. The developer saw that. See? If you fall, there's there's little gaps. That's okay. Good work, developer. Good work. I actually never knew that, by the way, on golf. Thanks for letting me know. Culture. Ow. What the fuck was that? Who did that? Oh, other magic guy. Ah! It's fine. They have... Okay. When they attack, if you listen very carefully, they make a weird kind of crunchy noise when they attack. You hear that? That doesn't sound like eyes. It sounds like they're opening a bag of chips. They're chip wizards. They, they use the power of potato chips. They're quite powerful when they use the basic normal uh, potato chips, but so help you God if you run to them while they're using sour cream and onion. Holy shit. Do not mess with them. And heaven help you if, they're, if they have cheddar. Oh my God. I mean, the controls are pretty standard. They work. They work. They work fine. There's not really much to say about them. You pretty much... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute, please. Wait a minute. Oh yes, this was a recent game. Also... Um... Okay. That was a very easy soft lock. That was a very easy soft lock. And no, there aren't any controls I'm missing. I bet there are is a double jump upgrade, but I don't have it yet, so. Well, oh jump of the flags, let's try. Nope, they fall right through. That'd be very obtuse if that worked, but hey. Well, soft lock. let's go back to the menu, load our game, and fight that boss again. times. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Off we go. Oh my god. That, that's just a simple design oversight, by the way. Just want to point that out. Oh, 
Oh. What's and given the look of this map, this is a Metroidvania. This isn't just a this isn't just a linear action RPG. It's it's the actual proper Metroidvania for the looks of it. So this is somebody that made it. This is pretty much this might be somebody's first game, but I do have to I do have to give them credit for making a Metroidvania. However, I also will dock many points for not actually paying attention to if your level design is actually possible to get out of if the character jumps in without certain abilities, which. Should be kind of a thing you check for. Well, Dev, if you watch this video now, you know you, you could. You probably need to add a little, just add a little tile there for a step. Probably, that'd be a good idea. Let me go defeat the chip wizards now. Where are they? Oh god, they're everywhere. Ow. They just teleport between two places, don't they? Murder the chip wizard. Seriously, it sounds like their magic just consists of opening a bag of potato chips. Oh yeah, I don't want to go in here. We'll have to watch our step, I guess, in case there's other platforms like that. I like the idea of potato chip wizardry. That sounds really good. I think that's a magic I could get behind. You know? You know what, Hyper, though? I gotta say this quite honestly. This game is way better than all, any corporate kind of game I play. You know those games for Howler that I play that have a really clean presentation, like they control very cleanly, they look, the graphic style is very clean. Everything about them is well made, I guess you could say, but they're complete, utterly soulless. This, however, this feels like somebody really, I don't know, I do see some heart put into this. Like, it's not great. No, no, it's not great, but it definitely seems like somebody's like, I want to make a good game. And yeah, this is too much money to charge for this, I would say, but... This seems like somebody was ambitious, and I can at least appreciate that. That is way better than any corporate game that technically would play better than this. So, props to that, you know? I, I, I think I have a soft spot for kind of shitty games, admittedly. Like, as long as there was actual effort put into it, I'm usually like, oh man, I have to wonder what this would have been like if you actually had skills. <laughs> it's like, it probably would have been really good. Hold on, I got a feat. Oh, you didn't even aim at me, but okay. Are you gonna teleport back here? I think, probably. Nope, okay. He's gonna do it right here. Nope, there, pay the dot. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> that ad was very loud and only in my left ear. What was that about? <laughs> ah! Also, the voice acting is exceptional, right? You open the chips and eat them all for your spell. Or, or you, like, throw a chip at somebody and it, like, turns into flaming chip and fire. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Where am I going? This leaves the area or something. No, actually, these are both dead indoors, it looks of it. Right. What? I, I think that's supposed to be an arrow trap, but it more looks like it's 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 shooting shovels at high speeds. Those are really too big for an arrow. Oh, what's this? Huh. Okay, you find you found a white wings. Ah, you found a singular plural items. Okay, cool. Push jump baton in midair to do a second jump. Okay, the, I gotta push the jump bottom. Ooh, the jump bottom. Ooh. Well, you know, the jump bottom. Gotta push the bottom. Pushing bottoms is generally a good thing. I don't know if I would create a jump, though, to do that. Alright, is this a platform? Uh, no, not really. Pretty solid dump jump, though. Can't eat the chips, that'd be a waste. That's a good point. Now, well, now I don't have to worry about that soft lock earlier. <laughs> I actually probably can go back there now. Why is this wall... Aha, a secret. Oh, so that isn't just a missed tile. I think I saw that earlier and just considered... 
<laughs> I think I saw something like that earlier and just considered it a missed tiling, so I figured it wasn't anything important. I thought it was just a mistake by the developer. I guess it might be more than that, though. Alright, good to know. Also, for no arbitrary reason, I can't jump in the church. I mean, I guess I can also not attack, so whatever, but... Also, what is this? This music doesn't sound like a... This music doesn't sound like game music. What does this song sound like to you guys? Kind of feels like the music I'd hear during an, during like a technology ad or something. Oh, 15. That guy was loaded. The second jump seems floatier. It is. The looks of it. Yeah, this is the part that looks. Yeah, that's just that's just silly. That is just silly. Nothing special about it. Okay, if I go up, I go to the laboratory. But let's go back. Cause I want to do that double jump now that I can. Actually, there's several jumps I can do now. Cause I think the room I got soft locked in, you can actually like. Let me kill the. Let me kill the. Uh, let me kill the Pringle wizards. Hold on. Still their money. I guess technically I could backtrack to the prison and get those items I missed earlier too, but I don't know. This goes the caves and the aqueduct. Okay. There's all sorts of directions I can go. Bingo Park for Sonic Heroes. I actually kind of hear it. A little bit. No, still can't get up there? Well, at least I'm not soft locked anymore. Too far distance. This is a weird game. This is a weird game because this was made in July. This was made a month ago, and it doesn't seem like a game that was made a month ago. Something that won't behind you grows in your soft lock yet. That'd be great. I feel like this would totally be worth buying if it wasn't uh, $8, and maybe like, 3 You know, look, if you got a hanker for some Metroidvania action, and you don't really need something super high quality, this might be fun, this might be fun. Because I mean, control-wise, there's nothing wrong with this. I, I like, I do a jump, and I know I'm gonna make that jump, because there's nothing shitty about the controls, so. There, I just reacted and dodged that one thing with a quick action. Like, it's very standard platformer controls, but by standard I mean it's responsive. There's nothing. There's no bells and whistles. There's no. There's no extra momentum. There's nothing. There's nothing to make it stand out. But in the process, it also is quite, you know, safe. There's nothing wrong with it either. Don't have to worry about. Ah, uh, ow. Oh wow! Getting hit by a giant shovel does actually hurt quite a bit. I guess that makes sense. Yay, enhanced magic power! They found a reason to kill the animals in Metroid Prime. Oh, game theory? Oh, please don't tell me you're talking about MatPat. <laughs> Anything but that. Oh no. Oh no, I mean, it's fine. If you like that MatPat, that's cool. I'm not a big fan of him, though, personally. Oh wait, that's right, that's the wind room. Can't do that. Though... Nope, that is just... I like how uh, the, the wall not being gray is used to cover secrets up, but it's also just used randomly when there's no secrets. So... It's like, okay. You think the wings work for the wind? We could try. I'm gonna assume it's another upgrade, but let's give it a shot. It'd be great if we get an upgrade that changes her movement speed to something other than Mosine. That'd be pretty nice. Requires a bronze key. 
Nope. It looks like I'll need a cape or something for that, probably. That's fair. I mean, look. I'm not fond of his theories anymore. Well, the main reason I don't like him is not because of his content. If you like his content, that's cool. I mean, probably the main reason I don't like him is because I watch uh, Noggin. You guys know Noggin slash no Luxton? He's also a theory guy. I actually like theories a lot. So it's not the fact that he makes theory videos that I have a problem with MatPat. It's, it's... Loxton was inspired by uh, MatPat. And I mean that in the best of ways. Because he outright says, like, you know, MatPat got me into this stuff. Like, he's on, he's very open about it. It's not like he's trying to mimic MatPat's style either. He does his own style. It's just the idea of doing theory videos, he did, he did get inspired by MatPat. And he's got a decent following at this point, Loxton. Uh, but he he mentioned at one point he did it, he actually addressed that he has depression and stuff. There's been some serious videos he did in the past, and one thing that really added to his depression is that apparently like he had, he he had the opportunity to meet Matt Pat and kind of express to Matt Pat like hey I, I you know you, I was really inspired by your content so I started doing my own theory stuff and uh, you know if you ever want to take a look I'd, I'm here and and Matt Pat was a giant asshole to him basically it was exceptionally dismissive. And like, yeah, I don't care. Like, I don't care about your theory videos. And I don't care that you were inspired by me, basically. It's like, I do not give a shit. And I was like, okay. That's the reason I don't like MatPat. <laughs> because it seems like, yeah. Oh wait, did I just softlock myself? I may have just softlocked myself again. Please say I didn't. Oh, it sets me- See, I thought, like, wait, if it resets me the last I dry ground, I have just softlocked myself again. <laughs> nope, fortunately, it, it had the intelligence of setting me there. Yeah, Noggin! Uh, really good show. He had Arlo on his show and stuff at times, too. He's had a few guests. Arlo- If you don't know who Arlo is, Arlo is basically a Muppet. <laughs> He's great. I love Arlo. Wait, did you retain the health up? Yes. Wait, did I? I did, right? Well, let's see, I started with five heart- Wait, 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 hold on. You might have a point. I did re I did retain it, right? Maybe? Let's see, I think I've upgraded my magic once, right? So I- Did I start with four magic and four health? Because if I've flicked up three health ups at this point. So, if I- if I started at 4 health, then that makes sense. So yeah, the, the reason I don't like MatPat is because I don't think... I mean, it's possible I'll give him... Like, it's possible he was just maybe having a bad day or something, but the things he said to Loxon... And Loxon, by the way, he wasn't even shitting on... Uh, he wasn't even shitting on... Uh, Matt Pat when he was talking about this in his video. The only reason he even talked about it is because people wanted to know what was up with his depression and he basically just told them. Like, the numerous factors, including that one. It was just one factor. But he... he it was clear to me that Loxton still respected what Matt Pat did for theory videos and such on the internet and popularizing it. And he still is happy that he was inspired by Matt Pat, but he's, it's clear that what Matt Pat did very much hurt him, too. But he, he wasn't he wasn't aggressive about it. All right, this is where we started the game. So let's go. Let's see. Wasn't there an item somewhere else in here? I don't remember. Something I couldn't get somewhere. I don't remember where. Probably out here. Uh, actually, I think I never went this way. Or maybe, no, I did. I remember this area. You should never meet your heroes. It kind of reminds me, like, there was at one point when, uh, 
uh, you know, when Channel Awesome was more a thing, there was a fan at a convention that presented a fan drawing. Like, hey, I drew, you know, some of your characters from your show. Uh, to one of the one of the producers for Channel Awesome. And when I got a magic... Okay, the amulet gave me an achievement saying, why do I feel so itchy? What? Okay. Um, but when the when the fan walked away, the the particular video producer for Channel Awesome that was re received the drawing, basically just immediately went over to a bin and threw it away, literally a trash can, and threw away the, the fan art he got. Which, look, it doesn't matter what quality of fan art that was. That's fucking mean. So. The content, I'm generally cool if, if you know, somebody does a content style I'm not into, it's whatever. As long as they're a decent person, I don't care. For instance, I think a good example would be, I, I believe, what I, from what I've heard, because I don't watch his videos, but PewDiePie is a pretty decent guy, donating to charities and stuff, and just being generally okay. So, props? Like, I don't like his content, but more importantly, he seems to have good character. Yeah. That, uh, that story about the fan art drawing was verified by another uh, video producer that was with that particular video producer. Somebody that was a much better person basically opened up about how their, their fellow video producer basically did this. Um, without any remorse, of course, too. Remember when he read The Prince of Nigeria and PUBG? What? No? I obviously would not know. What the hell are you talking about? Hey, look, even if you're a prince, you need... Hey. Even if you're a prince, maybe you want to do some do some fucking game. Maybe you want to do some fucking battle royale. Doesn't matter if you're a prince or not. Some people can make... Have really great personalities on camera. Like, you know, they can make a good presentation for themselves. Seem really cool. But then off camera, they can be... Well... This is not un unusual information, mind you. There's been plenty of actors out there that... People are like, oh man, look how cool they were in this, I'd love to meet them, and then you meet them and they're like, not nice people, not nearly as nice. I thought PewDie- well, hmm. Did he? Well, maybe PewDiePie is not as great as I heard. Granted, I know very little about PewDiePie, keep in mind, so. That's simply what I heard. But if he, uh, if he's an idiot, racist guy, well, that sucks. Nobody should accidentally say a racial slur. Well, okay, nobody should actually say that racial slur, <laughs> at least. Um, there was, what was that one? Uh, there was a, there was a, there was a slur for a different uh, ethnic group that I never fucking knew about, and the only reason I found out about it is because uh, a few different websites uh, were censoring part of the word suspicious. Part of the word suspicious was getting censored, and I was like, why is this getting censored? And then I realized, oh. I looked it up, I was like, oh, okay, I see. And I never even knew that existed. Oh, it's the crypt. I can't go here because it's flooded. But I found it. He owned up to it? Did he... How did he cuss... How did he use the word? Did he... Did it just kind of accidentally slip out, like... Like, what? Was he angry? Was this was saying he was saying while angry? What was his mood when he said it? Like, not it's a really shitty word to say, but I mean, if somebody figured out that that was if they said it in anger, and then totally like legitimately owned owned up to it, I guess I could forgive him. It's a pretty shitty thing to say though. But I can usually forgive somebody saying something in anger. At least one time I can. The more it hap- if it happens again, I'm much less forgiving then. Ow. Apocalypse. You hate that term? It's kind of a legitimately functional term though, to be fair. Let's see, did I my magic upgrade? No, not really. Oh, I guess it's more powerful than it was before or something. Hmm. 
Ah! 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 Oh wait, the sign thing! I forgot all about that. Now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. Definitely not gonna lie about that. I mean... Yeah, I think he was trying to make a point of that. Okay, I can jump in this save room. That's really weird. It's, it wasn't the best way to make a point, though. It... Fair enough, at least he wasn't doing it genuinely, because that would have really been shitty, but, uh... But it is a good point to demonstrate why <laughs> this group should really probably have some standards. Definitely, yeah, definitely so. Alright, I already went up there, let's go back over here. Ah, you were teleporting, but I still ha somehow killed you. Fair they didn't- they weren't for the country, didn't know what they held up. Yeah, that's also a fair point, though. I mean, those groups are just like, yeah, we'll do it. Like, it's, it's a very low- it's a very low, uh... Yeah, what, what- what- actually, what country were they from? I guess I don't know enough. Oh, I broke something. The map broke. Oh, the map just doesn't work here for no reason. Okay. Once again, I don't actually watch PewDiePie's content, so if I hear something about his videos, it's not something I'm seeing myself. I guess I could theoretically go see the videos, but... It's not really, you know, super... Something super priority, for, prioritized for me, I guess you could say. But anyways, this is getting kind of uh, it's kind of a weird topic we got on actually. Oh, there's a lot of rooms here. What the hell? Hi. Oh, you just sell an amulet upgrade. What does that amulet even do though? I guess it does magic, so it probably makes it more powerful. But I don't care. I like stabbing people. It's more amusing to watch them fall over up close. <laughs> oh no, if I come out of the store and I immediately get hurt by the enemy, I'm going to be a little sad. Okay, at least they didn't place the enemies in a way that you're going to immediately get hit. Gotta kill those fucking potato chip magicians. They're very dangerous with their spread attacks. What's this? The sixth bride is making a mess during the castle. No guard can stop her. No one has the experience to face a mage. Perhaps some of the wives can stop her. Maybe Tenebra, but no one wants to talk to her in the crypt. The sixth marriage has finally happened. Lena is going to teach those who are magical sensitive being magicians. But seeing the lessons are tedious, she teaches in a very slow way, lacking several classes to stay atop. These magi make a lot of mess. So smart people are disorganized. Lena, who should be an example to them, she just wants to lie down. Only when she needs something, she teleports to where she wants instead of walking. Wow, she sounds like a lazy bitch. <laughs> I'll be honest. But then again, if you had teleportation, wouldn't you also be a lazy bitch? They were tr trading places and confusing me. Oh yeah, fandom bands could be like that. Uh, 
I mean, you can be hype out if you want. I'd say you make a good bitch. <laughs> Stop it. Stop making water. I can't swim with that. I die. I'm water- water soluble. Stop this. Oh, may as well use this, I guess. Oh, wait, there's a Dark Souls delay on drinking the- <laughs> Hold on a minute. There we go. <laughs> so delay on using a potion. Gotcha. Ow. 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 You know, I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't hurt me enough to kill me, so. Hello, the Essler. Dab it, another place of no exit. Lena, the Archmage. Hey, what are you? What are you so eager looking for? Can I help you? A way out of this damn place. A way out for what? Is there? Is our husband not treating you well? Our husband? What are you talking about? By the way, who are you? Sorry for a lot of lack of education. My name is Lena, and I'm the Archmage of the Kingdom of Markar, the sixth wife of our queen, King Julian, great ruler of the Gravel Cities. The Gravel Cities? Oh my! You're the ruler of the gravel cities! Oh boy! I guess I won't just get a bulldozer and completely destroy that in, like, five seconds. Cut that nonsense. Where's the exit for the castle? I want to go home. Now this is your home, and it's your, our duty to serve the, your husband. Serve? Are you kidding me? I'm not princess. You were brought here because you were chosen. He chose it. I did not. I've gotten tired of this bullshit. How do I get out of this castle? Answer me. Is that what you want? So be it. You'll have to take this answer. Do I have a boss fight? I haven't saved in a bit. I'll love it. Okay. Okay. Is that your one trick, or do you have several? Okay. You have a uh, you have magic. You have that. I can I can magic too. What are you doing? Are you rocking out? You look like you're rocking out. Was that was that? I guess that was a stun animation. All right. I, I don't feel particularly intimidated, I'll be honest. Alright, that's that's when that's when I'm up here and it doesn't affect me whatsoever, but you know. Or down here and it doesn't affect me whatsoever, so. Right? <laughs> What? Oh, icicles, okay. <laughs> there. <laughs> Alright. Will you now tell me how I can get out of this castle? Not yet. Ah, ah you stabbed me in the fuck face, that's mean. And now? Okay, okay. You must defeat the guardian who protects the gate. By brute force of the ring of King Julian. How do I get to the gate? You'll need this key. You got the brass key? But without the ring, it's practically impossible to defeat the garden. Anything else? Now leave me here. What? Interesting, but I do not think so. Uh... Oh, what's the other character supposed to- Oh, I gotta teleport back. We're fucking brutal. It's like, we defeat you, now you're dead. So it looks like some evil king, like, is having a harem of wives, and now we're gonna fight the harem of wives, I guess. Uh... Well, that's- the story is kind of amusing me, and it's... <laughs> Seriously, I was arrested for- Oh, so... <laughs> Seriously, I was arrested for sleeping in the square? I was just tired. The teleportation for the school of magic up here in the city of Gravel. It's the city of Gravel. Because seems a lot of mana, and I forget the money- Forgot the money for the end. I never do these tests again for school. After getting enough rest, I teleport myself out of here. Interesting, somewhat, something presents me for teleporting- Prevents me from teleporting too far and not out of the castle. Now I have to find a way out of here. Flat guards, they want me to take they want to take me anyway to see the king. This is getting serious, my escape must have left the nervous king wanting my head. 
I discovered the king has five wives and one more crazier than the, than the other, but apparently a necromancer casts a spell that prevents me from teleporting out of here. The crypt is my next destination. This place is crazy! This crypt is full of vendetta beyond a demon! With great difficulty, I managed to imprison her. It made me exhausted. I think I'll, I think I'll take a little rest here. Okay. Huh. I'm gonna guess they're all brainwashed too, who were killing. So technically, it's not even their fault, probably. A giant hitbox for no reason. Well, this is uh This is a game. I honestly kinda have it's kind of like casually fun just because it's a playable Metro video. So generally that's my John that's like a genre I like, so fair enough. It's just nothing particularly great about it, but I mean, except for the whole the fact that it's a game made in 2019 that makes it look like, make that looks like it was made in like 2001 on a, on a fan on a like on a like cook beta, <laughs> which is uh, in itself sort of impressive. I don't know where the save room is. I just realized I was gonna save because I'm like, oh, maybe I'll come back to this or something. I don't know. My me had thought was Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Oh yeah, good point. Where is the save room? If this was somebody's first game, they did a pretty good job. That being said, I don't know if so projects like these should be really being sold for money. Not so sure about that one, yo. Like, if this was a free game, I'd be like, hey, this is pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a free game, and it actually does cost us a fair amount of money. A fair amount for its quality, certainly. Uh, it's hard to say if I really can endorse this game. As much as I find it personally kind of interesting. I mean, change was... No, change was a little bit rough around the edges, but I think this was... You make a good you make a good argument. You make a good argument. Like this game did I mean even though the well it is I mean the tiles are kind of simple like it's kind of a little copy paste here and there but all the same this is a full-fledged giant metrovania so like yeah this is going to take time to put together you still have to design boss fights I I appreciate this game. I appreciate this game. It may be a little bit archaic and, I mean, maybe remove that whole softlock pit. That might be good. But, <laughs> I kind of appreciate this game all the same. Changed, I think, had a little bit more polish than this. Well, actually, you know what? It might be about on par now that I really think about it. I mean, this has custom sprite work. Change and custom sprite work. Both these games are working in an archaic kind of engine, but an archaic engine that also has a lot of potential as well. Um, there's been some wonderful games made with the engine that I think this is running on. And likewise, RPG Maker can, make, can have, have a lot of dribble associated with it, but change is certainly not dribble, and there's actually a lot of number... There's a number of good RPG Maker games out there if you go and look. So, um, I'd recommend this game for anybody who enjoys Metrovanias a lot. And also, but I'd also recommend probably waiting for a sale. Maybe drop it, maybe when it's down to like five bucks, I'd recommend it. That's what I would recommend. But that was, um, again, that was Lost Tales, The Castle Escape. And yeah, if you're in the mood for this, don't mind the archaic design, or the archaic engine, I should say, as more or less. Uh, this was clearly made with heart, so I'd say it's worth supporting. 